Hey there, good evening, and welcome to Thursday Tank Tours. This is Ed Duncan from Eddie's Aquarium, and every Thursday we like to walk around and show you some of the new guys that have come in this week. Now these are discus, freshwater cichlid. All cichlids are not aggressive. Some people find these challenging to keep, but with good water quality and healthy fish, you feed them well, they should do amazingly. One of the staffers here took a pair home and within six months they were laying eggs and he's trying to figure out the best way to uh, save the eggs because that's a little bit of a challenge. So let's take a walk around the fish room on our way in. We're in the foyer area by the fish packing section. Super red koi angels. Fresh water, amazing color. All right, let's check it out. <coughs> Excuse me. Plant section is packed and booming. I'm going to show you something on the plants at the end of the video, which you might find very interesting. Red roof floaters. <coughs> Excuse me, just getting over a cold, get a little tickle. Uh, the Anubis plants. Lots of mosses. Some flowering plants back here. That's wisteria with the little blue flowers. It will grow underwater, but it doesn't flower underwater. So we grow it immersed, which means its feet are wet, but the rest of the plant is out and has some beautiful flowers on it. All right, let's check out the marine section. Carrie and I went through all the newbies. Uh, this is not a newbie, but he's a beautiful fish. It's the Atlantic blue tang. This green fuzzy stuff on the rock is algae sheets, which are for all the grazers. Everybody gets it every day. Uh, Aptasia eating filefish. Aptasia is a nuisance and enemy that grows in a saltwater tank. If you don't control it, it gets out of control, and then it can bother some of your desirable corals. So that's Mother Nature's, one of Mother Nature's ways to control it. I'll probably show you a couple more for the videos over tonight. Um, striped Fang Blenny, hanging out in here with a Valentini Puffer. Uh, beautiful, come on out, lemon peel. Going through the pipe, lemon peel angel. Beautiful, come on out, don't be shy. Yellow fish with blue ring around its eyes. Nice saltwater fish in the dwarf angel family. Uh, six line wrasses are coming in good size. They're another natural predator for some of the pests in a marine tank. Got in the largest. Uh, Nasaria snails that I think I've ever seen, and I've seen a few. They have their snorkel sticking up, and they go through the substrate and move it around. And while they're doing that, they keep their snorkel up and out of the substrate, kind of like a periscope. Pretty interesting. Nice feather dusters. Beautiful banded coral shrimp. And by the way, those Gigantonosarius are on special right now. Here's another predator of the Aptasia anemone. This is a uh, copper band butterfly. I'm gonna hit this button, hopefully it doesn't foul things up. go back sorry guys gonna start this over just gonna take a minute oh here we are we're back okay uh, Antheus wire tail Antheus uh, it's a really cute look for me and there he is, P. 
peeking out is a blue dot jawfish. <clears throat> Come on out, buddy. He's gorgeous. They dig a little hole in the substrate and they kind of come out when they feel comfortable or want to have some food. He's thinking about it, but we don't have all night. So we'll come back and check him out later. Beautiful uh, fairy wrasse. Nice, small, rusty angel. A lot of captive bred clownfish are in stock. Uh, really nice uh, red ruby dragonette and a yellow watchman goby over there in the back. These guys are pretty cool. Uh, this plant in here, I'm going to show it to you in tissue culture, Aerocallon polaris. It's got a lot of interest. This is in our planted display tank set up by Jonathan. Beautiful cabinetry. Um, also in this tank are the uh, tiger lilies and a lot of other beautiful plants. Uh, goldfish section, we have some nice assorted ranchu. Uh, they don't have a dorsal fin. Uh, more down here, different colors. Uh, black telescopes. More goldies coming in every week. Um, we're over here between the A rack and the B rack. Gonna hit some of the cuties over here. Uh, we've got these beautiful pygmy spotted rasporas. Kind of like the chilies, but they get a little bigger. And down on the bottom <clears throat> are the Yamano shrimp. And over here, the one line pencil fish and the real chili raspboards. Nice glow light tetras. Uh, over here on the side is a lemon blue eye bushy nose pleco. And here's a super red bushy nose pleco. These are tank rays, they max out at about six inches. So um, they come in, they're a little small, but they grow up and they're a beautiful, colorful fish. There's a cracked zebra pleco, very rare. Max out at about four and a half inches. Not sure where he is, but I have a feeling he might be in the cave with the apiece though. But I guess not. I don't see him right now. So he's hiding and he's doing a good job of it. Beautiful rose line torpedoes. Sometimes they're called the shark. Sometimes they're called the barb. We saw the full size ones in our display tank. The color on the guppies, these are the Moscow golds. They've been just coming in with incredible color. <clears throat> Some nice spotted quarry calves. Coming in pretty big. It's a wild South American fish. Here's some more beautiful angels. Uh, there is said to be a pair, and there's one of them over there in the back. Uh, albino uh, Rakovi killifish. Uh, there's another one. Nope, that's a guppy over there. Very unique small fish. Um, planet tanks are really stocked. Starting to get pond plants in. These are um, water hyacinths. We'll be getting them in by the thousands pretty soon. It's a little too cold for you guys to put them outside. Just want to let you know they're here. And they're hanging out in the tank with these Matoro stingrays. We have a pair, male and female, of the Matoros. Um, I was feeding them the other night. And this guy, the male, was ravenous. There's the female back there in the corner. They don't seem to be too romantic just yet, but hopefully. Uh, more amazing guppies, Moscow Blues. 
of Royal Pleco and flake tail porthole caps is on the cover of one of uh, Axelrod's books um, really nice snowball plecos dark with white spots they max out at about five inches the reason I say they max out is the common pleco gets about 30 inches long and way too big for many aquariums so a lot of people want a pleco but they don't want something that gets so gigundo beautiful little long fin cherry barbs uh, opaline garamis Got a lot of large barbs these are uh, assorted tiger barbs or some green tiger barbs regular tiger barbs a little nippy is the reputation, however, if you keep them in a school, they're much more mellow to the other fish. Here's another fish in the barb family, the red pandas or the melon barbs. Um, nice cardinal tetra, one of my favorites. Uh, these are reticulated quarry cats, again, jumbo size. They're hanging out in here with the gold garamis and the spotted headstanders, chelotis. Uh, typically a wild South American fish. Wild caught means the natives go out and they collect them in the streams and ponds in that country versus tank raised, which means they've been bred in a building or on a farm with outdoor ponds. Beautiful male pearl garamis. Pearl Learys. Incredible fins and colors on these guys. Beautiful neon tetras. I was thinking about you today, Vince, when we went down the list of fish. Vince and his wife drive here about 45 minutes every few weekends just to check out fish. Uh, we do have more of the blue phantom plecos in and a couple other oddballs. <clears throat> so while I'm on that note, uh, make sure you do our check our in stock list, which will be up by noontime tomorrow on our website. See all the goodies we got in. Uh, we're gonna pop over here to B Rack, and while we're thinking about it, check out these beautiful peacock cichlids. Amazing color. These are Lake Tanganyikan or Malawi. Uh, they do well with other fish that come from that lake. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nice little frontosas. Uh, we've got a few cylindricus left. Uh, Lake Loopies. These are all Tanganyikan fish that cohabitate well. Um, got some cute Oscars, about four inches, and I think we've seen enough of the larger ones that. You see they get about 15 inches. Uh, this is Atlas, the huge Midas cichlid. Great color. Probably have to discuss uh, what kind of tank mates you'd have with Atlas. Um, Starry Night cichlid. And here's the belly crawler pike cichlid hanging out in the lava rock. <clears throat> kind of hangs on his belly, just like his name states. Uh, electric blue Jack Dempsey's. And then a uh, cousin, we'll call it. The electric blue Acaras. Really big uh, mocha, chocolate cichlid. So we do have some big guys in right now. Some really nice um, Jack Dempsey's. Uh, we have albino Bashirs. And I think there's a few others here. You'll have to check the in stock list. We have a couple people that are really fanatical about the Bashirs. Here's another one here. Oh, the slender buffalo head cichlids. A relatively rare. It's that little guy in the bottom. 
So weather's really been playing with us a lot. It was uh, 60 degrees, I think, today. I went for a walk with my wife in just a short sleeve shirt. It was amazing. I know we're gonna get some cold stuff back again. So let's hope it passes quickly. We don't get any more of the snow. Pond season is right around the corner. Give us a call to schedule your spring pond cleaning. Dial the number on your screen and press option five to get the pond department. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Oh, there was one more thing I wanted to talk about for plants. Um, tissue culture plants are grown in a laboratory environment. They're in a special fertile substrate. You just take them out of the package, which looks like this. And you don't open the package prior to being ready to use them. This is uh, a type of Java fern, Microsorium. There's probably 30 plants in that pack. Packages are under $10. Uh, here's another example. This is utric utricularia. And look at the root mass on that. And here's the area calumpolaris that I showed you in the display tank with the little buds on top. So if you want to get some rare plants, the way to buy them is as a tissue culture plant. Take them out, rinse them off, divide them. There's probably at least six to 20 plants in these containers. Um, they're free from algae, pests, and, uh, and snails. So looking for some more fun to have with your planted aquarium? Check out our selection of tissue culture. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.